Critical colon cancer symptoms you should never ignore. I never thought it could happen to me, says Robert, a 45-year-old father of two, his voice tinged with a mix of disbelief and concern. I always considered myself healthy. I ate right, exercised regularly, but those subtle changes in my body, I brushed them off as nothing serious. Robert's story is not unique. In the United States, colorectal cancer is the third most common cancer diagnosed in both men and women, with an estimated 151,030 new cases in 2022 alone. What's more alarming is that rates of colorectal cancer in adults younger than 50 have been rising by about 2% each year since the mid-1990s. Dr. Emily Chen, a leading oncologist, leans forward in her chair, her eyes filled with determination. The tragedy is that many of these cases could have been caught earlier if people knew what to look for. Early detection can mean the difference between life and death. Robert nods solemnly. I wish I had known. I wish I had paid attention. Let's rewind six months. Robert was living his best life, coaching his daughter's soccer team, planning family vacations, and climbing the corporate ladder. But beneath the surface, his body was sending out distress signals that he consistently ignored. It started with fatigue, Robert recalls. I chalked it up to long hours at work. Then came the occasional abdominal cramps and changes in my bowel habits. I told myself it was just stress or something I ate. These symptoms are classic red flags for colorectal cancer, but they're often overlooked or attributed to less serious conditions. In fact, a study published in the Journal of the National Cancer Institute found that one in four colorectal cancer patients experience symptoms for at least six months before being diagnosed. Dr. Chen explains, colorectal cancer can be tricky. Its symptoms often mimic other less serious conditions. That's why it's crucial to know what to look out for and when to seek medical attention. As Robert's symptoms persisted and worsened, he finally decided to see his doctor. I remember sitting in the exam room describing my symptoms. The doctor's face grew serious and he immediately ordered tests. Those tests included a colonoscopy, which revealed a tumor in Robert's colon. Further imaging and a biopsy confirmed the diagnosis, stage three colorectal cancer. I felt like the ground had disappeared beneath my feet, Robert says, his voice breaking, all I could think about was my family, my kids. Would I see them grow up? Robert's journey is a stark reminder of the importance of recognizing and acting on potential cancer symptoms, but it's also a story of hope and the power of early detection. Dr. Chen emphasizes, while Robert's cancer was advanced, we caught it before it had spread to distant parts of his body. This made a significant difference in his treatment options and prognosis. Robert underwent surgery to remove the tumor, followed by chemotherapy. The road to recovery was tough, but he had a fighting chance, a chance that might have been missed if he had continued to ignore his symptoms. As Robert shares his story, it's important to note that colorectal cancer isn't the only possible cause of his symptoms. Dr. Chen points out, conditions like irritable bowel syndrome, inflammatory bowel disease, diverticulitis, hemorrhoids, and even certain infections can present similar symptoms. This is why proper diagnostic testing is crucial. Each of these conditions has its own unique characteristics and treatment approaches. For instance, irritable bowel syndrome is a functional disorder that doesn't cause physical damage to the colon, while inflammatory bowel disease involves chronic inflammation of the digestive tract. Diverticulitis occurs when small pouches in the colon become infected or inflamed, and hemorrhoids are swollen veins in the lower rectum and anus. The key, Dr. Chen stresses, is not to self-diagnose. If you experience persistent changes in your bowel habits, unexplained weight loss, blood in your stool, or ongoing abdominal discomfort, see a doctor. It's always better to be safe than sorry. Today, Robert is cancer-free and dedicated to spreading awareness. I want everyone to know the symptoms I ignored, he says. Don't make my mistake. Listen to your body. It could save your life. As we conclude Robert's story, remember, Colorectal cancer is often preventable through regular screenings and lifestyle choices. Maintain a healthy diet rich in fruits, vegetables, and whole grains. Stay physically active, limit alcohol consumption, and don't smoke. Most importantly, if you notice any unusual changes in your body, don't hesitate to seek medical attention.